it fills my heart when I see people eating my food mm -hmm. because I love to cook. So when I do like the beets and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and my kids like it, and then I bring it to the restaurant and people love it, oh, it's so like good. I'm gonna make another one more crazy. We are currently heading to Rancho Cielo Lindo, a place where magic happens in the kitchen. And we're going to be meeting Jasmine, also known as Jasmine the Magician. And she is known for having a gift for making the most exquisite Costa Rican dishes made with the best and freshest ingredients. And the best part of all is she also has vegan alternatives. And did I mention that you get to sit outside and enjoy the fresh tropical air and enjoy a beautiful view of the ocean. It honestly can't get any better than this. Vegano está listo, mami. Jasmine just brought me the first dish here. Completely vegan. Thank you. Yeah. What, what, what do we got on the plate? So we have mash, papa chiricana, which is a type of wild potato. And then we have picadillo made out of green banana. And this is roasted beets with a sauce of uh, sugar caramel reduction and passion fruit. We fry Costa Rica tortilla with pesto and bean dip and a cream of avocado. Mm, All for you. Thank you. Yeah, well. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Jasmine is still over there. She's doing her thing. She's cleaning up. A lot of the guests just left. Um, typically at Rancho Cielo Lindo, they have a period of time from today, it was 12.30 to 2.30, where she was serving guests and doing her magic in the kitchen. And uh, now she's busy at work cleaning. So let's uh, take a bite of this delicious mash here. Wow. Wow, that's really, really good. This flavor of these cranberries on top of the mash is really, Incredible. That is probably one of the most delicious things I have uh, put into my mouth. And now we have a tortilla here with some beans. And this is picadillo here, which is also popular in Costa Rica. Let's add some guacamole here. And let's just add all of it on there. Mm, wow, delicious. And the tortilla is so fresh. I think my favorite thing on this dish is this red caramelized goodness right here. Paired with everything else is just such a good combination. This is definitely one of the best dishes I have had in Costa Rica. Okay guys, we have a vegan gluten-free brownie here with some vanilla ice cream. Mmm! Mm. Wow! <laughs> guys, I have eaten a lot of vegan food in my life. I am genuinely very impressed. Wow, this is roasted pineapple here. This is so delicious. You have to, um, let me show you uh, uh, the broken up close up here. I kind of, I kind of broke it up a bit, but you have this roasted pineapple, which is absolutely delicious. The flavor is incredible. Delicious. Well, we are here with Jasmine the Magician. We just I just finished that delicious plate of food that she made for me, which was so good. Now I have a little taste of her magic skills. But go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us who you are, Jasmine, and a little bit about what you do. So I'm Jasmine, hello. I believe myself that I can create food. It's a Costa Rica typical dishes with a little bit of touch of a lot. And we also include uh, medicinal plants and the whole entire menu. That's what is a little bit different than normal restaurants in the area. I always enjoy cooking. I love to cook. I enjoy more than anything. I really enjoy myself cooking and sharing love with people uh, cooking. Yeah. And I think that's the way that I can be able to transpass the love to others by sharing food. Yeah. And so that's what I do. That's amazing. It was incredible. I can even just seeing you in action. Wow, with like, you know, back here cooking amazing and the, and you know she's over here talking to the guests she's doing everything like she told me so <laughs> amazing but tell us a little bit about Rancho Cielo Alto so what is it it's a restaurant it's also a farm you like grow some of the stuff that you cook here yeah it's a restaurant okay but my family has a farm here mm -hmm. it's 3.5 hectares so it's a lot of stuff planted on the farm whatever we can produce here we, we can be able to find it mm -hmm. but uh, we grow a lot a lot of our vegetables and our stuff that we use here on the property. The main idea is just to keep it 
simple, like like Costa Rica style. I create everything and we do our own seasoning. So it's something that I create myself and I use it a lot on the restaurant. So I think this is the secret. Many people doesn't know, mm. um, but seasoning, it's based on yeah. medicinal plants. Mm. You just sprinkle on the food and magic. Just everything? Yeah. You just put a little bit so sprinkle. So many people buy yeah. this now. What do you love the most about all this? It fills my heart when I see people eating my food mm -hmm. because I love to cook. So when I do like the beets and stuff and my kids like it and then I bring it to the restaurant and then people love it, oh, it's so like good. I'm going to make another one more crazy. And, and every time I go more. Test, you test it with your kids first. If they say it's good, yeah. all right, let's go to the restaurant. And, and yeah. seeing the people happy and when the yeah. people told me that they like like it and I have pictures of people licking their plates you know for me it's like it fills my heart every time I finish work I just go to home and, and I don't need anything else I, I just go home so happy one time I remember a word that say love is not a relationship with someone love is a way of living with everything I share love with food clients hugs I see so many people we hug each other mm -hmm. and when people are happy I'm really happy. That's always the best. You yeah. can like, see in their faces how happy yeah. that they are. And I saw yeah. that in the <laughs> guests here today. It was a really cool sight to see, honestly. I don't think I normally go to a restaurant and see people like just beaming with so much joy. Food is really I important. Love food. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. It yeah. is. It's you need it to live and you know to keep yourself well, but it also yeah. tastes delicious and makes you happy. You can connect with others. Yes. And it's amazing. Yeah. So it's that's, that's it all. Well, with that, let's do a quick tour of the space. Yeah, I want to okay. see a little bit more of this uh, amazing restaurant you have here. As you see, pretty much everything. It's uh, vegetables, fresh vegetables. We use a lot of fresh stuff here. Also to decorate, but th this is the way we use vegetables to cook. So we place everything around. And when we are here cooking, we just feel like whatever we have there okay what we have today let's create a dish let's keep create this and add this to the plate so this is like the prep table and this is like my my favorite part of the restaurant so i'm here all the time and i'm just like give me this and give me this and i feel like you know connected with the people we also use a wood fire for cooking which is really really typical in costa rica and this is something that i want to be able to keep for the rest of my life because the flavor of the food, a lot is in my hands, I know, but a lot comes from that. This is, is a rock, it's like a Indian rock, that we use it for make beans and coffee. I use it a lot for salsas and cheese and cuajada. And then we also have pilon, which is typical here, to do the rice and you know, like, so this is like the typical corner of the restaurant and the Costa Rica flag. So in that area, we keep like a little plants, like decoration flowers and like, Simple things like basil, tarragon, oregano, mustard. We have a lot of mustard leaf. We have thyme. We also, we also have rosemary. We have moringa, katu. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Jasmine, for the quick tour and like hearing a little bit about your story, trying your food. That was just a little taste, but uh, I'm so <laughs> impressed. I'm so impressed. Thank you. This is how my days are all the busy, time. Busy, busy lady, you know. Busy with kids, busy with the restaurant, busy with the farm. She's a busy lady. She's a busy lady. <laughs> well, yes. thank you guys for watching. Um, you should definitely check out Rancho Sierra Alta. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>